Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we're going to take a look at this uh, APC backup UPS and the model number of this UPS is BX600C. So with the name 600 you can see that this is a, a 600 VA panel and the maximum load that you can run off of this UPS is 360 watt but I think you can run a little uh, higher load as well but the uh, running time of this UPS will be a little low. So comes in uh, this kind of a cardboard packaging you can see the box comes with a lot of safety features and all uh, it also comes with a battery saver feature which claims that you can extend the life of your battery two times but the running time of your device will be a little uh, lower also comes with surge protection and AVR automatic voltage regulation meaning if the voltage is low it will try to bump it up to the suitable voltage and if the voltage is high it will try, try to reduce the mains voltage so that you, your device gets a proper uh, voltages comes with two years warranty at least that is what is written on the box they claim a charging time of four to six hours and if you look at the top you can see let me just get rid of these some of the running time is given for a couple of devices you can see if you're running a 15 inch LCD monitor, the running time without the battery saver is about 27 minutes and with the battery saver on it is uh, 14 minutes. 19 inch 14 minutes and with the battery saver on 7 minutes. A 22 inch LCD uh, monitor performance PC battery saver off 9 minutes and battery saver on 4 minutes. So battery saver, what does battery saver do is basically it uh, uh, prevents the battery from over discharging which in turn uh, extends the life of your battery but again because it is uh, turning off the UPS before the battery gets a little low the running time of your device will be uh, reduced. So without any further delay let's just open this up and see what we get in the box and I will do a couple of tests and hopefully you will be able to decide whether you want to buy this UPS or not. So let me just get everything out. So this is what we get in the box. Let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see. So the packing packaging seems really nice. Comes with thermocol packaging. Let's take this out. Some instruction. Let me just take them out. So we'll get a quality check testing sticker. It mentions that what kind of test they have performed perform before sending this uh, to you. You will get a safety booklet, warranty information and a manual. So let's keep all these things aside and let's take a look at the device itself. So it's a little heavy because the batteries are usually heavy. There we go. Let me remove the cable as well. And now there is nothing left in the packaging. We want to take a look at the back of the uh, UPS. You can see that it comes with the three different uh, three pin sockets and some other features are also written there. Let's keep this aside. Let's take a look at the cable itself. So the cable seems really decent quality. Nice cable, thick cable. Let me just open it. So as you can see, this is the cable. Let me bring out my uh, measuring scale. So I've got my measuring tape here. So let's measure the length of the cable. And we will also measure the dimension of the UPS as well. So let me just put this here. Extend the cable. So as you can see it is about 110 centimeter. About 10 centimeter, 10-15 centimeter longer than a meter. So we can basically call this is a 1 meter decent cable. So 1 meter no problem. Let's take the UPS out of the packaging. So this is the UPS. Let's measure the size of the UPS as well. And let me zoom it in a little bit. 
So you can see the length of the UPS is about about 9 inches and the thickness of the UPS is about 4 inches a little less than 4 inches so this is the length of the UPS and the size of the UPS because in the pictures it is a little difficult to tell how big the UPS actually is now it this may seem a little bigger to you because this is in a tower position some of the UPS comes uh, with a flat profile this one is in a, a straight tower position if you take a front of the UPS you can see that this is the front of the UPS and you can see that it has a power button which you can press to turn the U turn on the UPS and this is your uh, battery saver button and here is your uh, charging LED also you get a battery saver LED in these both these buttons are LED backlit if you take a look at the back of the UPS you can see that it comes with a three three socket three pin socket and all the three sockets are your surge protected so let's put this down and let me show you another thing that both the side there are air vents to keep the UPS cool so there are two air vents on the left side one on the back and again two air vents on the back of the on the other side of the UPS let me put this down and show you how it looks uh, from the uh, front okay so now let me talk about some of the important features on this uh, UPS I hope you can see well Okay, so you can see as you can see it comes with two buttons one is your power on off button to turn the ups on press it and it should turn on at the moment you can see another led is also glowing this is your battery saver led you can also turn the battery saver off by pressing it in so as you can see the led turned off that means our battery saver is, is now turned off the battery saver is a feature is basically extend the life of your battery by not draining the battery too low but there is a drawback if you're using this feature then your life of the battery will be increased but if the device that you are running off of the UPS will not run for longer so if you want to extend the life of your battery I, I want to suggest you use this feature because obviously uh, running your devices off of the UPS is not recommended for longer the other thing you can see that this is uh, another LED this is your charging LED so if I plug this plug in a main socket you will see this charging LED glowing and in the video we will also do the charging test and we will figure out how long it takes to completely charge this UPS from 0 to 100 percent so without any further delay let me just charge the UPS fully and then I'll show you let us uh, test it with a simple PC and see how long it runs without turning on the a battery saver feature then we will see how long it takes to charge from 0 to 100 percent and then i will also show you because this is a very important for a lot of people uh, how long it is able to run a wi-fi router because a lot of people want to buy ups just for that purpose so without any further delay let's just connect this to our pc okay so now let us uh, do our first test so in this test we are using uh, my computer this is a 23 inch sorry 24 inch screen IPS panel the other thing that we will be running using the UPS is going to be our computer here and this is running a this is a very basic PC running Pentium dual core uh, only about one and a half GB of RAM uh, not much going on in this PC and the third thing that we will be running is going to be this uh, TP-Link uh, 9 volt uh, modem so here you can see this is the UPS so let me plug everything uh, in one by one so here's the UPS let us first plug in our modem on the top port so our modem is now connected let's plug in our monitor I think monitor is going to go in this port that's our 24 inch monitor connected and let's finally connect our computer that this will be running so all the three things are now connected let's turn our PC on and then we'll simulate a power cut then we will see how long this is able to run this uh, PC and we should we should get a decent idea so as you can see our UPS is now running and it is powering our my 24 inch screen a 9 volt TP-Link modem router and obviously uh, it is powering our PC at the moment so three things are connected a typical PC usage so as you can see the charging light is also disabled and if you look at uh, this thing you can see uh, the battery is completely charged now because the charging indicator is not glowing 
So let me simulate a power cut by turning off the main supply. So as you can see our UPS is connected to the main supply and this board is connected to the main supply. So let me turn off the main supply and then I will start a timer and then we will measure how long the UPS is able to run uh, this particular setup. Three things are connected, a 24 inch IPS panel, uh, modem, ADSL 2 plus modem and a simple Intel Pentium dual core uh, processor running simple uh, PC. And as you can see at the moment the battery saver indicator is also turned off. I've uh, turned this off because I wanted to see what is the maximum time that we can get. Uh, what this does is basically it extends the battery life over time but the device that you are running will not run for longer. So the runtime will be shortened but the battery life will be increased. Anyways at the moment I've turned the battery saver off. So let me just turn this off and see how long this UPS runs. So I've started a timer. I will turn this off and we will see how long it is able to run our computer. So here is the main power switch. Let me turn this off. Start the timer. And as you can see our computer is now running off of the UPS and the timer is running. So let's see how long it is able to run our PC. After 3 minutes the computer is still running you can see the LED is glowing and the monitor is still turned on. Ok so after 10 minutes you can see the UPS is still running the computer is still turned on. So after 15 minutes it is still running monitor is still powered on modem is running and my computer is obviously running. After 20 minutes it is still running so as you can see after 23 minutes the computer is completely uh, turned off. Okay, so now I will turn on the uh, main supply as you can see the main supply is connected through this board and now that we've seen that the UPS is completely drained. Now let us see how long it takes to completely charge the battery. So let me turn on the main supply. So I've connected the main supply and as you can see it is displaying the charging uh, symbol there. Let me start a timer and we'll see how long it takes to charge the UPS. When the UPS is completely charged this charging LED should turn off. So let's come back when the UPS completely charged and I will keep the uh, this timer running and that should tell us how long it takes after a complete discharge to completely charge the UPS. So as you can see the charging light has turned off that means the UPS is completely charged and it took about 5 hours and about 24 minutes. Uh, to charge this from a completely dead battery to 100% and this is the first time I'm doing this charging test so I'm not sure uh, after a second try or third try how much time it, this is going to take however for the first time this took about 5 hours and 24 minutes to completely charge from a completely drained battery okay so now I've only connected my modem here and as you can see I have removed uh, the monitor and I have removed my computer the only thing that is connected to the UPS at the moment is just the 9 volt modem ADSL router. Let us see because a lot of people would want to know this. Let us see how long this UPS can power a modem just a modem. This is probably going to take about 10 watts or so. So let me turn this on. Let's turn this on. So it turned on and as you can see uh, modem light is glowing let me start a timer so a timer is now running let us see how long this is able to run just the modem and as you can see I've turned off the battery saver mode because in battery saver mode uh, it will turn off uh, much quicker than this so as you can see the UPS has turned off and our modem ran for about two hours you can see in the timer so after a one full charge our 9 volt TP-Link modem this modem this is probably about 10 watt modem it ran for about two hours using the APC UPS and we were running just the UPS nothing else was connected to the UPS so this was the uh, Wi-Fi router running test using uh, the APC UPS so there we go this was my video on the APC 600 UPS in this video we tested that how long this was able to run my PC. I ran a simple PC, a 24 inch screen and it was able to run that for about 23 minutes. Then we discharged this PC, uh, sorry UPS completely and then we did the charging test and 
uh, it took about five hours five and a half hours five hours and 25 minutes to completely charge from zero to 100 percent battery and in all those tests i wasn't using the battery saver feature also if you want to run this ups for your modem and wi-fi uninterrupted wi-fi i i want to recommend you to don't use this uh, battery saver feature otherwise uh, it will turn off if you are drawing less than 30 watt of load from the ups the other thing we, we did we also tested this with my 9 volt uh, wi-fi router it was a adsl modem plus the router and was able to run that for almost uh, two hours so that was very very impressive and uh, with that let me just conclude this video i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye